Hello Scruffy fam, Joe here. Today, I want to do a review of the Cabela's, oh, let me get that, Cabela's 18 gun cabinet. Now, it's marketed as an 18 gun cabinet, but is it really? Let's find out. Okay, so what I want to start off with is just give you guys a quick tour of the cabinet here. This is an 18 gun cabinet, very comparable to the stack on 18 gun cabinet. Um, this is not fireproof, it is not a safe, it is a cabinet, okay? So we first need to understand that, that it is a cabinet, it is not a safe. So, key operated. On the door, locks with this, and from the top, uh, these are easy to pry open. It, Oop, let me turn your back around. Um, these are easy to pry open. If you really wanted to get in this, there's a pin for the hinge here. You just pound the snot out of that. It's going to come out. So have that understanding that if you are going to get something like this, this is not meant to be a safe. This is a cabinet. So let's look at what I've got going on here. Well, as 18 gun cabinet, I will tell you, first off, it does not fit 18 guns. Anytime uh, a safe or a cabinet tells you that it fits that number of guns, it does not. What that means is it has this number, so we'll focus, these number of hook spaces for firearms. Now, if you have a firearm like my uh, 20 gauge there that has no optic on it and is thin, you can put one of those, skip one, go another one. There is my uh, M77 with a scope on it, skip one, and then there's my 12 gauge that is actually going up through a slot in the back. So on that back, it has a slot for one, two, three, four, five, and you can honestly only get three firearms there, okay? Um, so that's the first thing that I wanna talk about. The first thing I wanna cover with that is when we're looking at any of these types of work, um, these cabinets, sorry, Anytime we're looking at one of these cabinets, you need to understand that if it says 18, uh, it's not really, okay? Um, I have nine firearms in here right now, and I don't think, I think I might be able to get one more, maybe one more, right? And that would, I'd have to do some creative, uh, creative placement of that. But let's, let's take a look and see what I've got in the cabinet and how it's working, okay? So on the top shelf, I've got ammunition, magazines, uh, and just some of the basic accessories. I've got my choke tubes, uh, cheap little red dot there. Um, but when we look in here, okay, so on this back wall, we've got my break action 20 gauge, my 338 Win Mag, uh, that is the Ruger M77. It has an optic on it, so it's got to be tilted just a little bit more. And then my 12 gauge, which also has an, a red dot on it, um, that is going all the way up and through the back. Then we have our little Daisy Red Rider. If you notice, it doesn't quite reach. And then we also have my Mossberg Patriot and the 6.5 PRC. It is extremely long, so it won't fit underneath. It needs to come out here to the side. And what I noticed, because I have a little bit higher um, sight on there and a bigger optic, it won't rest at all on these rests. Um, it won't rest at all. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get a magnetic hook here that's going to allow it to hook and rest on that. Right now it's resting on one of these ribs. Uh, it's a fluted barrel, so actually, <laughs> funny enough, it's resting quite well on that. On the other side, we have the Ruger American uh, 243 that just got the Magpul stock on it, um, followed by the 1022 and my AR. Now again, those don't reach because they're shorter barrels. Um, they don't reach up there. And on this side, my Ruger American Hunter in 308, it also has the larger optic on it, but because it's got a shorter barrel, it's able to rest there. But I had to kick the feet out pretty far 
to get those to rest. Um, so let's zoom out a little bit. When we look at this and we, we look at how this is arrayed, uh, the, there are nine in here, okay? So it says 18, but there's really nine. There's a couple things that you can do. I can actually get magnetic brackets that come down a little bit farther to hold the AR and the 1022. And I might do that at some point. Um, I might, but let's, let's talk about why we even have this in the first place. All right. So let's talk about why a gun cabinet. So, um, we're going to be doing a video probably the next one or two that'll explain a little bit more. Uh, but for now, I really just, um, don't want to worry about getting a gun safe. They're very heavy and I'm not quite sure the size that I want to get yet. Um, this is an 18 gun cabinet, right? And if you look at an 18 or 20 gun safe, there's not a lot of difference in the interior dimensions of it. You have a little bit more custom customization with where you can put the shelves because this is just metal, just a thin metal. Uh, I could get magnet holders like I talked about to bring lower, and I will at some point. Uh, the plan for this is to be just a temporary holding space for my firearms. As my kids get older, um, I built a custom uh, rifle rack in my closet. And they have been in there and it's been perfectly fine. I can lock my bedroom door and my kids can't get in there. Uh, but as all of my children are getting older and they're getting a lot more curious, my uh, six-year-old is getting very interested in firearms. And what I don't want to happen is for him to find a way into my room or someone forgets to lock the door and he's in there playing with one of the rifles. That would be very bad. So we've decided that we needed some place to lock all of the rifles up, uh, out of sight, out of mind. We didn't quite know how big of something we needed. I knew that I had nine firearms and I said, okay, I need something big enough to cover at least nine. I looked at a lot of reviews and a lot of people said, get 18 or 20. So I was able to find this um, and this will serve as a dual purpose too. As my gunsmithing business gets up and gets running, this is where all my customers' firearms will be held. Uh, they will go in here, my workbench is right there. So any cleaning, scope mounting, maintenance, anything like that that I'm going to do, they'll be stored in here. Um, as you get your FFL, the ATF has requirements of where you store yours and other people's firearms. This is where other people's firearms will be. And the thing that I like about this is there's two sides. So I can have firearms coming in, firearms going out. And that is the, the plan for this, is that as I have firearms coming in and out, Ones that still need to be worked on will be on one side. Ones that are completed awaiting pickup will be on the other side. Uh, so this was kind of a dual purpose for me. For the short term, it's a place to put my weapons out of sight, out of mind. Let me see how big this is uh, and how big of a safe that I want to get later. And then as my gunsmithing business grows and I get that gun safe, uh, these will all come out of here. They'll go in the gun safe and this will be purely for customers' firearms. And it gives me a really good tracking system of need to work on moving out and then up top I can put any handguns or pistols they make plenty of racks that can go up there and that's the plan for that so my overall review of this Cabela's 18 gun cabinet it doesn't hold 18 guns so I would say if you're looking for something to hold that many firearms um, a gun cabinet's not gonna work or you're gonna have to get two of them if you get two of them you might as well just buy a safe because you can get a safe for that amount of money. If you just don't have a lot of money to spend, but you wanna find a way to keep your firearms safe, these cabinets, I think it was 250 bucks out the door, okay? So that is another option that you can have. It's extremely customizable. There were three shelves on this side that I took out. Um, I took them out so I could fit more firearms, but there are three shelves. You can see the hole here and down here, there's another one. Those are kind of areas where those shelves could live. Um, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. It is fitting the functionality of what I need. Would I buy this thing again? Yes, I would. Um, 
but not as my own personal weapon storage. I would use it for my business. Um, I think that if you need something at a camp or a lodge that it's not going to be long-term storage that you're going up for like a, a hunting weekend like you've got a hunting property and you're going up for for the weekend it's a good place to keep them out of the way so they're not just open and out you can put them in a gun cabinet lock it and if there's kids around you don't have to worry you have time to go out to the stand or come back open closed and you're usually not going to have that many firearms if it's deer camp depending on how many people come to your deer camp so um overall it's fairly sturdy you can bolt it to the floor you can bolt it to the wall you can it's got plenty of ways that you can customize it um i've got nine firearms in here i could probably fit a tenth if i really really wanted to uh but overall would i buy this again not for my own personal firearms but i would buy it uh, for my gunsmithing business uh, but it works for what i need right now and guys if you like what you're seeing like subscribe and we'll see you next time